Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Wednesday, August 15th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run. It's a real cool way to do so. You click on the link below the video, you can get yourself set up for a free $60 account. Use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster over at DocSports.com. Again, it's a free $60 account. Get started by clicking on the link below the video. That's how you get yourself set up for the free account. Here's why you might want to do it today. We're on a 17-5 and five run uh, with my premium plays over at DocSports.com. Up over $5,100 for those wagering just $100 per unit. We swept last night. We had a nice five-unit play in Major League Baseball on the Nationals. We had a four-unit play in the WNBA on Minnesota. So a nice 2-0 sweep last night. 17-5 and five, our last 22. Here's what's going on on Wednesday. I do have a WNBA play on Wednesday. It will be posted at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Major League Baseball, haven't had one of these for over a week, about two weeks. Seven unit play in Major League Baseball, about as big as they get on Wednesday. And here's what we've done. We've won our last three. And again, this will just be, I believe it's my second now in the month of August that we feel is qualified to be a seven unit play. But we've won our last three. 5-1 and one with the last 6, 17-8 and eight with the last 25 with these 7-unit plays. And overall, again, 17-5 and five with the last 22 plays going back the last 0, 10, 11 days now. So don't miss out. We're hot. We've got the big 7-unit play going on Wednesday. It's Wednesday evening, by the way, that this play will uh, find its first pitch. And it'll be available on Wednesday at DocSports.com, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific Time. 7-unit Major League Baseball evening play for Wednesday, WNBA baseball posted at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, WNBA 1 p.m. Eastern. And for those who have been asking, well, we're just one day away from week two in the NFL. We swept week one. Here's what's going on for week two. We've got uh, our plays, which will be posted Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific time. NFL preseason plays, CFL plays, all posted 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific time. Not only just 2-0 and last week with week one preseason, Season, but I was the number one capper college football and NFL combined last year at DocSports.com. Another tremendous year. We've been cleaning up, as you know, in the NFL. If you've been following me over the last several years, last 393 plays, 60% in the NFL, 59-60% college football now going back the last several years. In fact, 153 and 105 is our college football run, upwards of 59%. So listen, jump on board. You can go grab those packages right now over at DocSports.com. Check out those prices on the upcoming season, both college football and the NFL. And of course, on Thursday, don't forget about that NFL preseason package, CFL, all that good stuff. 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. They'll be posted on Thursday only at DocSports.com. Real quick note, hey, don't forget about the Doc Sports betting journal for the upcoming football season. I told you about this a couple of times and in the last few days, and we told you how we first came across way back when I was a little kid growing up in Omaha, Nebraska, walking inside those uh, smoke shops, as we used to call them. And, and of course, there was a little bit of betting going on behind the counter, so to speak, in the back room. And, and, um, and basically what I do every year as a youngster, as far back as being, you know, seven, eight years old, walk in with my dad, he'd buy his stuff and I would get Street and Smith's and I would get Doc's, betting, uh, De Doc's Sports Betting Journal for the upcoming football season. 160 pages of college football football and NFL information, obviously from a, a betting perspective, plenty of stats, plenty of, you know, from last year, you're going to get all the game stats from last year, in fact, from 2018. Plenty of previews for the upcoming season. Great trends, great angles and situations, all that good stuff rolled up into a 160-page journal. And you're going to have those schedules, all the schedules, all the teams broken down for you uh, day by day for 2019. So go check it out. You can Google search Doc Sports Betting Journal, or you can just go to the homepage, DocSports.com, at the top of the page. You'll see how to link up and, of course, uh, get your Doc Sports Betting Journal. And by the way, uh, it's only 11 bucks. Simple as that. Go check it out. 160 pages of information for just 11 
dollars. All right, let's get to our free pick for Wednesday. Looking at Major League Baseball daytime action. I mentioned I had the Washington Nationals as our premium play yesterday. A nice 3-1 winner over the Reds. It was a five-unit play. I'm going to back him again here with Strasburg on the mound for the Nats. Like the way he pitched last time out, even though the Nats didn't win. We actually had Washington. I believe it was Friday night against the Mets, and uh, he helped his team get to the bottom of the ninth with a 6-3 to three lead. He was, of course, out of the game uh, a couple couple of innings before the ninth, but they go into the bottom of the ninth on a six with a 6-3 lead on the strength of what he did while he was in the game talking about Strasburg, and then the pin collapsed. Simple as that, and all of a sudden, uh, the New York Mets put four runs on the board at the bottom of the ninth. They beat Washington 7-6. Tough loss to take, but we expect Strasburg, who pitched well in that game, to have another strong game here, even a stronger game against the Cincinnati Reds in this contest, and we look for him to get the better of Cincy. When you look at Bauer coming in for Cincy. I think the Nats bats will be able to get to him. Bauer was a bad last time out, but listen, Strasburg is at his best in daytime action. Sub 260 ERA in day starts this year, and he's got an 099 whip at home on the season. I just think it continues. He continues to be red hot. A couple of starts ago, he had a bad outing. We talked about this in our write-up on Friday, and on uh, v also on our Friday appearance, talking about the fact that the last time Strasburg had a bad outing, he went seven starts starts where he basically cleaned up over his next seven starts. So two starts ago, bad outing, last start, good outing, didn't get the win because of the pin. Today, I expect it to all come together and work well and uh, for Washington to pick up another victory over the Cincinnati Reds. So free pick on Wednesday. It's an afternoon game around four o'clock Eastern time, 1 p.m. Pacific. It's the Washington Nationals with Steven Strasburg on the bump. Don't forget again, seven unit evening play going on Wednesday in baseball, available 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. Five and one is our current one with our last six and 17 and eight with the last 25 baseball seven unit plays. Also again, 17 and five with the last 22 plays overall. Baseball WNBA on Wednesday. Don't miss a single winner as we look to sweep again and go to 19 and five. All right, that's going to do it for us for Wednesday. Real quick note, by the way, programming note, uh, if you're tuning in for the Mad Dog uh, appearance that I do every week on Wednesdays, Normally, we're on at 7 p.m. Pacific with Patrick Maher. Today, Wednesday afternoon, I'll be on at 4 p.m. Pacific, doing it a little bit early on Wednesday. Mad Dog Radio Sirius Network. And again, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, Mad Dog Radio. Check us out there if you get a chance. It's going to do it for us for Wednesday. Let's put it in the win column. I'm Scott Sprites or DocSports.com. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We appreciate those who have done so thus far. Be right back here Thursday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.